little boy dressed in green. You're coming with me. Don't move a muscle. And I'll let you keep your limbs. I said don't move. There's no mistake. It's her. A former public safety commission hero. Lady McGaunt. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Reggie here, back with you for another video. Welcome back to the House of Animation, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about My Hero Academia. But more specifically, we're going to be talking about one of my newer favorite characters from My Hero Academia, and we're talking about Lady Nagant. But before we get into it, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And without any further ado, let's drop the intro. Now recently in the anime, Deku was fighting against a villain that all for one sent to go capture him. And that villain's name was Lady Nagant. Now I already read the manga and this chapter came out a long time ago. So I already knew this was gonna be one of my favorite fights that Deku has fought. But watching it in the anime, just some reason hits different. The way Deku is swinging around the battlefield like he's Spider-Man and using his tactics like he's Shikamaru to try and figure out a way to beat Lady Nagant is my favorite aspect of this fight. Like at this point, I feel like y'all already know me and know what I'm going to say when it comes to fights, but I love a balls to the wall, just action fight. But my favorite type of fights are strategic fights. When the characters are playing chess on the battlefield and figuring out a way to get one step ahead of their opponent, that's my favorite type of battle. Now, even though this is probably one of my favorite fights in My Hero Academia, I'm not really here to talk about the fight. I'm here to talk about Lady Nagant and how I think Hirokoshi has one of the most interesting worlds in anime. Just remember, 80% of the world in My Hero has quirks. So in their society, you have people's quirk going from pretty mundane to pretty amazing and dangerous. Now with large amounts of people having potentially extremely dangerous abilities, you have to put a very strong control on society so people don't go crazy with their quirks. Remember, it's relatively illegal for anybody to just use their quirk in everyday society for the most part the only people who have relative freedom with what they can do with their quirk are heroes and the people who don't care about society villains but Hirokoshi makes it very clear in his anime that just because you want to use your quirk and maybe not use it for the purpose of saving people doesn't make you a villain. At this point in the world, quirks have been around for so long that using it is no longer looked as anything special. Using your quirk is like running or jumping. And imagine society puts a stranglehold on the ability for someone to jump. But understandably, the government has to put some level of restrictions on society society so that people can somewhat live a normal life. They have to keep up the facade of hero society so it doesn't creep into the minds of the everyday person that they should be able to use their quirks as freely as any one of the heroes. The idea of being a hero, the idea that there's always going to be someone to protect you if something goes bad is what holds society together. And this is where we get into the rise and fall of the ex-hero Lady Nagant. So when we're introduced to her, we're introduced to Lady Nagant as a villain trying to take in Deku for all for one. But when we get into her backstory a little bit, we start to understand her a little bit more. So just to start off, let's talk about Lady Nagant's quirks. Lady Nagant's quirk is called rifle, which essentially allows her to extend a rifle from her right elbow so she can shoot targets from far away. Also, Lady Nagant's hair is a putty-like substance that hardens the second she takes it off of her. And with that, she's able to create various types of bullets from hollow points to even bullets that curve. Lady Nagant's skill as a sniper is hailed to such a degree she's considered the best long range shot in the entire country. And with the skill and training that she got from the Public Safety Commission from a young child, she's considered one of the most dangerous people in all of Japan. Lady Nagant was a hero with the Public Safety Commission. She grew up loving heroes and wanting to be just like them. 
and the Public Safety Commission groomed her to become a somewhat hero. And I say somewhat because she kind of became a dark hero, a hero working in the shadows, doing some of the deeper and darker things that the public shouldn't know about. Lady Nagant was essentially living a double life where she would smile in the public and be the happy hero that kids can look up to, while in the shadows, she was doing all of the dark things that society didn't know. And again, this is where I go into saying that Hirokoshi has such an interesting world. See, public heroes have to walk a fairly fine line when it comes to killing bad guys. Everybody knows that a hero may kill a bad guy from time to time if there's no other choice, but heroes don't necessarily go out with the intent to kill rather than to save. Again, this holds that facade of hero society that Hirokoshi talks about, but Lady Nagant was going out killing bad guys who were potentially dangerous to breaking down the illusion of society. Lady Nagant killed so many people coming from her own mouth. She said that the Public Safety Commission sent her out to kill bad guys who threatened to make terrorist attacks against heroes. She even had to kill heroes who were working with villain groups to achieve success and fame. Just imagine for a second how potentially dangerous that is to society to realize that there are heroes who might be working with villains to achieve success. Now, even though that might be 100% true, think of what that would do to the psyche of the public. Anytime a hero might have let a bad guy escape by accident, the people would be wondering if that hero and bad guy were working together. Lady Nagant even said that she had to kill heroes or technically vigilantes who were going around acting like heroes but may have not necessarily had the right credentials to be heroes. These people were doing a good job, doing good things, and she still had to kill them for the Public Safety Commission. Because again, imagine what that would do to the psyche of the public. Imagine people realizing that they can go around using their quirks trying to protect people. That would create chaos and exactly what's happening right now. And maybe even worse than that, Lady Nagant was sent to kill innocent people, people who might have just found out the truth about bad heroes or even vigilante groups that were taken out by the Public Safety Commission. She even had to kill those people just trying to spread the truth to the world. Lady Nagant was sent to kill heroes, villains, and innocent people, and she started to slowly lose her way. And to be honest, I kind of empathize with her. Imagine having the sole responsibility of keeping up the whole public facade of heroes and villains. Imagine living a double life where people are looking at you like you're a hero, but in the shadows, you're killing them. And imagine doing it day in and day out without any reassurance that what you're doing is for the greater good anyways. Lady Nagant is a fallen hero someone who lost their way and someone who has the ideology that the hero society needs to get torn down. I think Lady Nagant is a fantastic representation of the world Hirokoshi has built here. Deku says himself during the fight that he was ignorant to the realities of the world, that he realizes that the world isn't heroes and villains, the world isn't black and white, and it's mostly full of gray. And I think that's the theme that Hirokoshi is trying to put out with My Hero Academia, with the idea that the world is all gray. And when you try to paint the world in these blanking colors of black and white, it makes the people who don't fit in those colors really resentful to the world. So that's really all I wanted to say when it came to this video. I think Hirokoshi has a very interesting world and something I want to delve in deeper to when it comes to other videos I'm going to do in the future. But Lady Nagant I thought was just such an interesting character and warranted our own video for discussion. So comment below and let me know what you think of Lady Nagant as a character and how interesting you think Hirokoshi's world is. But with that, I got nothing left for this video, so peace.